Heather, how are you doing? Hi, nurse. Yeah, okay. How's your mom? Yeah, my mom is good. Everything's good. Okay. I'll talk to you later. As I've told you before, Montclair, is it or Montplaisir? Montplaisir. We're not providing reimbursement for anything besides nursing education. Question. How was that fair for employees? If I dedicated a decade to an institution, not to mention worked through a deadly pandemic, why can't they return the favor? Whether or not I'm majoring in the same field. I'm just giving you the logistics of policy. My dear, I do not make the rules. <sighs> okay. Well, currently I'm mentoring a young mo woman named Sabine from Haiti. And she says that she wants to be just like me when she grows up. I told her that she's going to face some dream killers in her life that will stop her path. And I told her, and I made it clear to her, that she should never flinch or even fold. When she faces those dream killers, she should confront them and look them in the eye and tell them that they will not stop her. Representative Williams, you will not stop me. I paid my dues for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Have a good day, Miss Mamplessa. Bye bye. Oh, God. Hey, girl. This. My school bill. Uh, my job refuses to reimburse me for my freaking tuition, but they barely even help me with my schedule. So what do I expect? <laughs> wow. We well, could do what I do. What become a school teacher? Psst. Do you think that I can afford all of this and my travels on a school teacher's salary? I know your parents' life insurance. Okay, I kind of lied about that. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I have a confession to make. What is it? Okay, don't be mad. What is it? I'm sorry. Um, so, there is no life insurance. What, Janice? Yeah, um, so after the accident, I found out that there was no life insurance, but just a bunch of bills and debts and no inheritance whatsoever and yeah oh my god sweetie i'm sorry to hear no that. i mean it sucked it it did really suck i'm not gonna lie but 
I just had to figure something out. And so I decided to become a professional companion. Wait, an escort? No, oh no, chill, huh, relax. It's not an escort. It's, it's not. It's a professional companion, so it's not all about sex. It's more about companionship and making them look good in front of their clients, their colleagues. So basically arm candy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, we're young, we're beautiful, we're vibrant. Why not take advantage of this? No, 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 no. That sounds too dangerous. It is not dangerous at all. This is like, it is like Uber. How? Okay, so there's an agency and they do background checks on these high profile, high net worth men. Like, they have movie executives, they have lawyers, bankers, sports agents. Hell, I even went out with a priest once. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm Imagine. Speechless. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I was also speechless when they gave me my paycheck for that one. <laughs> I don't think that's for me. I don't know. What? Oh, you mean the nice clothes and the nice vacations on in places like Europe, the Bahamas? Africa. No. Safaris in Africa. Selling my body. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I get you. Ah, okay. So since when are you a virgin? I'm not. <laughs> so what are you... <laughs> okay, so you do have sex with men. Yes. Mm, and the men that you have sex with, do they pay for your dinners when you go out? Yeah. Okay. Do they take you shopping sometimes? Sometimes. So? They buy you gifts as well? What does that matter? Okay. So basically, you've already been paid for sex and companionship in your life. That is totally different. Oh, really? How? How so? Uh, well, you know what? It is different. You're right. You know what you're getting with this deal. You don't, you won't experience a heartbreak. You know upfront what you're getting. You're gonna live a luxurious life. You'll be taken care of and you don't get your time wasted and wasted hopes or anything and really like what's your Janice what would your parents say oh my parents hmm what would they say they left me with nothing why do I care why do I care honestly I'm not living for anyone else I'm living for myself and I need to do what makes me happy and so should you I don't know girl I... escorting that's that's not my it is no. not escorting <laughs> Okay, so what's your alternative? Your amazing alternative. So you can work at the hospital where you will get abused and yelled at by sick and ill patients. And by the way, do you remember the guy from The Hangover? Yeah. Ken Jong? What about him? So he used to be a physician and he said that it was like going through hell and he would never go back there because it felt like a prison. And you're not even a physician yet. You're on a nurse's salary. Yeah. So you're, you're gonna reject all of this, this amazing option for a nurse's salary. I'm over understaffed, overworked, not to mention unappreciated at all. <sighs> yeah, exactly. So how about finally you get some appreciation that you deserve and they treat you like the star that you are. All right, what do I have to do? Ah, now we're talking. Cheers. Okay. Um, so I can do everything. Okay. Um, I work with the agency. I just have to get you a recommendation. I'm going to get you a personal recommendation from myself. And then it shouldn't take longer than three days for them to approve you. So I'm going to get right on that. It's probably earlier that they will approve you. So I'm going to, I'm going to check with her. I'm going to give you a call. Okay. Um, yeah, I need to go. It's Where late. Um, I have to organize this, but actually you also need to go shopping. What's wrong with my buy clothes? Some, buy some good clothes. You know, you have to, you have to look the part. Yeah, with the nurse's salary. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Be fine. Alright, bye girl. Bye girl. Oh my god. <sighs> Janice, hey, you forgot to tell me Wait, how much is the thing? When? That's much more than I get working overtime at the hospital. Wow, when you said your recommendation, recommendation carries weight, you ain't playing. It's an intimate date. What's an intimate date? 
I can only imagine how excited I am to finally meet you, especially when you look so ravishing. Thanks, Sean. No, please. You seem nervous. Don't be. I'm a true gentleman. I have the utmost respect for women in, at the agency. I just want to make sure that everything's good. What would you like to eat tonight? Uh, I'd make sure I chose a restaurant that has vegan options to fit someone that with your lifestyle, right? Yeah. That was pretty thoughtful of you. Thank you. No problem. I try, and, uh, I try to impress someone that I feel could be a new potential best friend. Uh, I guess. To new friendships? To new friendships. Monsieur? Thank you. Madame? Merci. Jamaican beef patties over Haitian beef patties. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're pretty humorous, Sean. Uh, I'm actually glad I accepted this date. You have the light to be around. I told you, I need the police. It's my duty to make sure you're amused, comforted, comfortable, and flexible. Especially later tonight when I put your legs behind your head. Excuse me? What? You heard me. Look, I'll make it worth your while. I'll double the pay, and it'll be more than yours made in one night. I'm a, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in investment banking, so you know I'm good for it, right? I was told that this arrangement was strictly for dinner purposes, nothing else. Right. I've had my dinner, and now you're going to be my dessert. What's wrong with that? Let me just relieve myself real quickly. I'll be right back, okay? No problem. Have, take your time. Just know we'll have more fun later when I blow your back out. Touch your belly button from the inside. Uh, let me just get a condom, okay? Okay. What the hell was that? I'm so, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> shit. Um, I sprayed you what with was a, that? A, a chemical with chloroform. And, um, I'll put you straight to sleep. Uh, I, I'm so sorry about this, but... I just need the cash. I just need the cash, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Shauna. I didn't mean to do this. I'm so sorry. Hello? Sabine, come here. 
Yeah, yeah, champion, champion. Uh, no, no, no. They didn't reimburse me for my tuition. No, no. I'm okay. I'm fine, actually. Um, the hospital wanted me to take another major that would only benefit them. I'm a filmmaker. If I decided to take another major, I would just be off my track. I told those dream killers that they will not stop me. And you should not let them stop you either. The right path that you choose is yours to take. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you later. Okay, I'll call you back. <sighs> hey Janice. Never, ever, ever again. Okay? I don't know, I'm not judging you for what you do, but this escort escorting thing is not for me these men are pretentious and they're creeps and they just want whatever they want <sighs> clean water doesn't come out of a dirty well what kind of artist would i be if i just dismiss my struggle i'll be a pathetic one i'm sorry but this is just not for me so you can count me out Drive out the door